Welcome to Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Jai, Taiwan. This is one of the most traditional cities in Taiwan with some of the best food. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can also check out Netflix Street Food where they filmed an entire episode here in Jai. So the plan for today is to take you back to some of my favorite spots some classic Jai favorites and uh, take you for a breakfast tour around the East Market here in Jai. I'm so excited to be back here. This is like a home away from home for me. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. It's gonna be a great episode. Let's go eat some Taiwanese food. I am so excited to be back here. This place I filmed about five years ago. It's just a little stall. It's not even really a stall. He's just set up on the pavement here, right on the road. Just a couple little chairs and he's selling almond tea, but he does it with a unique ingredient. He uses the egg yolk, so a raw egg yolk. You can see it's completely changed the color of this almond tea to a bright yellow. There's a little couple pieces of egg yolk floating in there and uh, served in this metal cup here. Super, super hot, let's try it out. And the smell is so fragrant. It's like fruity and nutty at the same time. It's such a complex flavor, even though it's a simple drink, it's really hard to describe. You need to try this in Taiwan. I, it doesn't taste like almonds. If you just eat almonds, no, it's not the same taste. It's like a really strong, fruity, flavor and this place is doing it in such a traditional way like I said right on the road right on the pavement super cool oh, so creamy and delicious yeah. This spot is only open early in the morning till about 10 a.m. It's right on the edge of the market. I'm gonna go in and check the market out here shortly. And they've been here on the side of the road for 82 years selling just almond tea. Uh, that is just so cool. And cooking it on charcoal too. Wow. I'm directly inside of Jai's East Market and I've come to a really popular stall that's serving beef soup. So they have a massive cauldron and they've just started packing the broth full of uh, tripe and skin and uh, beef lag and all kinds of different cuts of uh, the cow. And you can order it with all the different intestinal cuts like liver, kidney, uh, intestines, but you can also just order the beef meat and it's all, uh, the flavor is gonna be coming all from that broth which has just been simmering away all morning with all of that fatty, beefy cuts of meat. And I just love the huge calls right here. So I'm gonna sit down with all the locals and order myself up a beef soup. They just keep packing and packing and packing that cauldron full of different cuts of the cow. And she's got a little like kind of bamboo weaved basket that she puts whatever cuts you order so you can order anything you want and then just blanches it quickly in the boiling soup and then served uh, in the bowl with a little bit of ginger. So I ordered mine with just the beef. No uh, intestines because, you know, it's only about 8 a.m. right now, so <laughs> I felt like just having beef. And look at all of that. They really go generously. And uh, a little bit of ginger in there, as I said. Go for a little dip in this sauce over here. Two types of sauce, it looks like a red and brown sauce. Let's try that. Yum. Yum, it's really beefy. I could definitely taste the ginger in there and the beef is nice and soft. 
the sauce is a little bit sweet and a little bit spicy, and it's just really, really beefy. And look at how much they've given me. That is crazy. Very, very generous. Go for a little less sauce this time so I can taste the natural flavor. Yeah. This is a popular breakfast item here in Jai, especially with the older folks. They like to have this soup. They close down only about 11 a.m., so it's only open in the morning. Yum, that is good. Wow. Here in Taiwan, simplicity is king. High quality ingredients, simple flavors. That's really what it's all about here. There is so much to eat here in the Jai East Market. This is my favorite traditional market in all of Taiwan. So just around the corner from the beef soup stall is a famous uh, fried meat roll. To make the meat roll, they start with a really thin piece of, I believe it's the diaphragm. It's basically a white piece of fat. It's completely translucent. It's super thin. And they fill it full of the meat mixture. It looks like there's some veggies in there as well. And then it's rolled up like a big spring roll. Then it's breaded and dropped into the hot oil and fried up into this huge log. Super popular. There's a big line, so I'm going to jump in line and order myself up one of these meat rolls. So this is the final product all chopped up. It's absolutely huge and I think it's to be taken home most of the time and eaten with a little bit of sauce but I'm just going to sample it now as is fresh out of the fryer. I think it's going to be really hot and I can see a couple little carrots and maybe some green onions, some other veggies in there as well and then that that uh, diaphragm has been completely fried to a crisp on the outside. Oh wow. Mm. That is really good. It's juicy. Super, super juicy. And just a thin, crunchy layer on the outside, but the inside's got a nice bouncy texture. Almost like a fish cake texture. Mmm. It's actually full of flavor. That'd be really good with the beer and some ketchup or something. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some onions in there as well too. Besides really good food to eat here at the market, you can also find all the ingredients to prepare any kind of Taiwanese dish here at the Jai East Market. This, as I said, is my favorite traditional market in Taiwan. It feels like time stopped here hundreds of years ago and things have not changed. It's got this authentic feel that uh, I find is missing in a lot of other markets here in Taiwan. I always love coming here. It really is like nostalgic to me now. I love this place. This next stop, it's my first time to come to this particular shop, but it's a very historical shop. It's been around here in Jai for over a hundred years, if you can believe it. And they specialize in star fruit juice. So this is it right here, star fruit juice. And you can see she's giving me it with a fork because there's actually some pieces of star fruit down at the bottom. But let me just try some of the juice by itself first. Lots of ice in there too. That's really not what I was expecting. I only, I think, had starfruit juice once before. It's kind of like a plum juice. It reminds me of plum. It's 
a really light sweetness and a really light saltiness at the same time. And it almost has like a kind of a vegetable-y flavor, if that makes any sense. The closest thing I can compare it to is plum. Mm. But it is really refreshing. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do though, is grab some of the star fruit at the bottom. It's a really big cup and they're hiding down there. Okay, there we go. If I can grab that and you can see the star fruit there. I think it's been pickled. Let me try that. Mmm. It tastes just like a sweet plum. Mmm. That is really delicious. A little bit sweet for sure. Super refreshing. Over a hundred years. That's what I love about Jai. There's so much history here. There's so many shops that have just been around and not affected by modern development. Mm. You can see that there's tons of star fruit in the bottom there. It's not a common fruit, at least uh, not for me. I never eat star fruit, so it's really interesting flavor. And there's also a plum in there. Let me try that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of hard. Mm, a little bit sour, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually really good with it. Wow, so cool. There's a man set up on the corner with a stall and he's selling something called Mayatzen, which is a traditional, very old school style Taiwanese dessert. So it really reminds me of Indonesian martabak. It's basically a batter that he fries, big pancake. You can order the salty kind, which comes with uh, green onions and different things, but you can also order sweet versions. He's got red bean, he's got uh, peanut, which I went for. So this is the peanut. I think there's a little bit of sugar in there as well. And you can see that it's got that spongy texture to it. I think that might be partly fermented batter because you can see the little bubbles forming in that batter. And like I said, reminds me exactly of Mardabak, but this is actually the first time I'm gonna try it here in Taiwan. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It is quite sweet though. It's creamy on the inside. So I think, I'm not sure if it's just peanuts or something else he added in there, but it's a little bit creamy. And I can definitely taste a strong peanut flavor. It kind of tastes like peanut butter toast but not crunchy or crispy toast. Instead, really soft, spongy bread. It's like a sponge cake on the outside is how I'd describe it. Oh man, that is really good. Mm. Just in this little stall right here. So cool. I rarely ever see someone selling this street snack here in Taiwan. It's really only this guy that I've seen selling it on the corner here in Jai, and he's been doing it for 60 years. Again, I just love that uh, Jai people really hold on to their uh, historic culture and really keep their food culture alive. Mm, it's awesome too. Try it out. Well, it wouldn't be a Jai food tour without chicken rice. Well, that's what they call it here, but it's actually turkey rice. If you know anything about Jai, it's turkey rice is its namesake. Famous all across Jai, you can find tons of turkey rice restaurants, and I'm just gonna pop into a local one, show you guys what it's all about. Let's go.
So chicken and rice is not just meant to be eaten by itself. You usually order a lot of different side dishes with it. And like I said, this is Jai's namesake. This is why a lot of people come to Jai. There's gonna be hundreds if not thousands of these chicken and rice restaurants in Jai. But I keep calling it chicken rice. It's really using turkey. This is the turkey right here, turkey rice. So very simple, but it's all about the juice that they put on top at the very end. And bed of rice, served also with a pickled radish, this nice yellow looking radish. Like I said though, you gotta eat it with lots of things. So I've got a miso soup over here. It's a tofu miso soup. Back here I've got some just blanched cabbage, a little bit of veggies in there. And then this is uh, another popular Taiwanese side dish. It's uh, bamboo shoots with a little bit of mayonnaise on top. So like I said, you dig in, you have lots of different things. The rice is just not plain here. It's with turkey, so let's dig in. Not bad. It's got a really fresh turkey flavor. And then the juice completely soaks into the rice. So that's where a lot of the flavor is coming from. Mm. It's not salty. It's just very natural. But if you want to have a little salty, you can have a bite of the radish. Yeah, that's always really salty. Let's try it with some side dishes. As I was saying earlier, very simple flavors here in Taiwan. Just some blanched cabbage. Very healthy though, I love it. Mm. This is Jai food. To be honest, not a huge fan of the mayonnaise, but uh, let's try it. Some bamboo shoots. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> The turkey rice makes everything good. Chase that with a little bit of tofu miso soup. No. Same as a Japanese miso soup. This is why everyone comes to Jai for these incredible flavors, especially the turkey rice. But there's tons of other foods like you saw me try in this video. And I've made tons of other videos here which you can go check out. It's so reminiscent for me to come back and eat these Jai famous foods. I love this city so much. The people and the food and the culture is some of the most authentic and friendliest and delicious in the entire world. So make sure you come check out Jai if you come to Taiwan. Wow, awesome. I mean, it's the classic dish. That's what everybody comes here for, but every time I have it, I still love it. That's it for the breakfast tour today here in Jai. It's so nice to be back here. I know I've said it, but you really gotta plan to come to Jai if you're ever coming to Taiwan, at least just for a day to taste the food and see the sights. I love this city so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post the next episode. And I wanna say a huge thank you to my friend Oliver for helping us out today for today's video. See you guys in the next episode of Chopstick Show. Bye.